Welcome creative adventurers. I'm Debbie Cohn with D. Cohn Designs. Thank you for stopping by today. In today's video, I've got a quick roundup of what's been going on in my life over the last four months. I can't believe it's been four months since my last Around Here video. So much has been going on. I want to give you an update on the Ukraine Always Quilt Along and the quilt that resulted from it, an update on my quilting projects, give you a few highlights of books I've been reading and what I'm reading now, an update on my rosebush pruning from the last video, a couple photos from my recent trip to Boston, and last but not least, I have a new quilting supervisor. Stay tuned to find out who that is. So let's talk about my quilt projects. First, I'm going to show you a picture of the completed top for the Ukraine Always Quilt. You can get this pattern on my website. It's totally free. Just go to my website at decondesigns.com slash free patterns and scroll down the free pattern section. Toward the bottom, you'll see the pattern. It is free, but in return for downloading this free pattern, I would hope you would consider donating $12 to the charity of your choice that supports Ukraine and Ukrainian refugees wherever they may be in the world. The quilt top is done. I put the backing on it. I just need to go ahead and quilt it and bind it. Once that's done, I will be putting up for sale at a quilt show or on eBay in the near future. I'll let you know when that happens. The next quilt project you can see behind me on the, my makeshift design wall in my kitchen is the quilt along that's currently in progress. It's called Summer Scrappy Sizzler. It's not too late to join the quilt along. It's in progress. Go to my YouTube channel and you'll see Summer Scrappy Sizzler video number one, week one, week two, and week three. Those videos cover the overview and fabric requirements block number one, which is the 16 patch you can see behind me. And then the most recent video, week number three, covered three half square triangle blocks, which you can also see behind me. Stay tuned next week for the fourth video, which will include three more half square triangle blocks and three additional design configurations. And then two weeks after that will be the the final video in the quilt along that will include the sashing, the layout, and the big reveal. I hope you'll join me. It's not too late. Go to my website at decondesigns.com to download the free patterns for the blocks, the fabric requirements, and quilt along overview. It's totally free. Be sure to download those patterns though by August 31st, 2022. At the end of, uh, at the end of August, I will be pulling down the free patterns off my website, consolidating them into a single pattern, adding more sizes, and then offering the pattern for sale after that. The next project I want to show you is my A Quilting Life block of the month. I've been sewing along since January with Sherry McConnell's A Quilting Life block of the month for 2022. We've done six blocks and in another couple of weeks we'll have, I'll show you the video for the seventh block as well. I'm really excited about how it's turning out. They're looking so cute. I can't wait to put the whole quilt together just in time for Christmas. Another project that I finished over the last few months is a quilt for my sister. Hi, Karen. The quilt is a panel. She chose this particular panel because it reminds her of the time she and her husband spent in Ukraine as missionary pastors. As you can see, I've taken the panel and I've bordered it several times to bring out the colors in the scene. I think it turned out wonderfully and she's really enjoying it. Yet another project that I'm having so much fun with is this. Here I've made a zippy bag. Now I know I'm late to the party with this, but I really had fun. I've made a couple of them. I'm gonna make several more, including one out of selvages. I'll probably make a video for that and add it to my selvages playlist. So if you're looking for something fun and quick and easy, stay tuned because I'll have a video on how to make these cute little bags. You can see I just used mine with scraps. I did some very rudimentary free motion quilting on it, added the zipper and a little bit of ribbon for the zipper pull. It's so cute, I just love it. I'm gonna make more for gifts, but don't tell anybody. The last, the last project I want to share with you is that I'm going to be working on the Boo Mystery Quilt Along with the Fat Quarter Shop. Here are my fabrics, they're so cute, I can't wait to cut into them. You can see these are the prints here and then I'll have the, the darker gray for the background fabric. Uh, Kimberly Jolly of Fat Quarter Shop has, has the first two blocks of the mystery quilt along posted on her website. I won't be filming a video because Kimberly does a fabulous job of that, of course, but I hope you'll consider quilting along with all of us as well. I'm looking forward to showing you the finished quilt 
in my next Around Here update. For books I've been reading, I read more than a dozen books in the last four months. My top two favorites by far were Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. Excellent book. It's a historical fiction novel based on the facts. It's about a traveling circus in the 1930s. And there's romance, there's mystery, intrigue, all kinds of stuff. It's a great book. Loved it. My second favorite book was the latest in the series by Tracy Clark. It's about a Chicago female uh, private investigator, and it's a great series. I love it. The runner-up for best book that I read in the last four months is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I do recommend it, although the reviews were mixed. I felt it was thought-provoking, especially in light of the events happening in Ukraine today. I keep several books in progress on my nightstand. Here's a few that I'm reading now. The latest in the John Sanford series, he's starting a new series about Letty, the daughter of Lucas Davenport from his Davenport series. Another book I'm reading is You Is You Happier by Daniel Amen. So far it's interesting and I might put into practice a few of the things he talks about. I've also started the Pulitzer Prize winning novel Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides. It's about a Greek American family saga from the late 1800s through the early 2000s. It's slow reading, but it's very interesting, very well written, and I'm enjoying it. Another book I just started is Partner in Crime, the latest in the J.A. Jantz mystery novel series. This one combines two of her different series, the Sheriff Joanna Brady from her Brady series and J.P. Beaumont from her Beaumont series get together to help solve a crime in Cochise County. I love that she's bringing these two wonderful characters together. And once I finish a couple of those other books, I'm going to start this one. This is Sonoma Rose by Jennifer Chavarini. She's written quite a few quilting-related novels. I've read one other, so I'm interested in this one. It's also a historical fiction. It's set in the 1920s Prohibition era about a local winemaking family in Sonoma County, California. It should be interesting. Quick update on my roses. I've got a picture here of when I pruned them, which you saw in the last video, and now here's the picture of them in full bloom again. I admit I was a little nervous about it when I pruned it so far back, but those experts were right. It's looking beautiful. It's summertime here in the United States, and that usually means summer road trip. I did take a vacation this year, and I went to Boston. The two highlights of my trip were walking the Freedom Trail, of course, which is the national landmarks all about the American Revolutionary War that founded our country. And then the other was the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. I love this museum. It's a little bit different than most museums, and it's well worth it. If you ever get to Boston, be sure to stop in there. The thing I like best about it, the art purposely does not have tags next to it. You're invited into the museum to be inspired by the art, but also to make your own associations with the art and its surroundings, along with beautiful gardens and outdoor spaces. Definitely one of the highlights of my trip. Last but not least, I have a new quilting supervisor. Her name is Missy. Missy came to live with me a couple of months ago. She is a Yorkshire Terrier, and she mostly just, she sleeps under the kitchen table when I sew. She's a wonderful addition to my household. And she makes a great non-judgmental quilting supervisor. So that's it around here. Thank you for watching today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment and tell me your quilting and summer vacation plans. I'd love to know. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell a friend. That's the best way you can support my channel. I'll see you again soon.